Hey everybody and welcome to look let's look at Ollie Ollie. Get your jokes out of the way. Ollie Ollie Oxen Free. Ollie Ollie. Oi oi oi. I don't know. I'm doing my best here. This is a game uh, from General Arcade and published by Devolver Digital that originally came out as a PS Vita exclusive back in like late January, somewhere around there. And I played a lot of the game because I did a lot of flying, fortunately and unfortunately, between January and April. And this was kind of like my go-to PS Vita game to play on the airplane. You know, rounds of it literally take 15 to 45 seconds, depending on the length of the level. Less than a minute for sure. And it's got that really kind of like, I know I've been using this a lot lately, but it's almost got like a super hexagon style rhythm to it, if that makes sense. Like, quick round dead, quick round dead, quick round dead, quick round success, quick round dead, etc, etc. So it's really addictive in that uh, fashion. This is the PC version, it's uh, coming out, well it's out now, it should be out by the time this video is out at the very least. It's 13 bucks. That's, the, I think, the main problem that a lot of people are going to have with it. Uh, but it's a skateboarding platformer, basically you can call it. It's not quite an endless runner, it's not quite like a bit trip thing going on. Um, why don't we start with the tutorial, just so I can actually give you a little bit of uh, an explanation for how things actually work in the game. So, in Oli Oli, I'm using the controller here. Uh, it's It looks a little bit like a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater type deal, but it's not really. It's much more about survival than it is about high scores, at least at a low level. The real gimmick of what you've got going on is, um, you know, relative to... Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but uh, relative to other uh, skateboarding games, I have, admittedly have not really played skate, but um, you, you have to be always focused on not only your jump, but also your landing. So you have to press the A button, uh, or on the keyboard, I'm not sure what it would actually be, I've never played it on the keyboard, but um, you have to press the A button right as you land, which can be difficult to get into, and actually makes it so this game is a lot less accessible than it might look at first. Like, this this looks like a game where you're probably like, oh, I've played platformers before, I can just jump, that's okay. Um, but it, it is a lot more difficult to get into a rhythm here than you might expect. Anyway, basically everything is controlled uh, via the analog stick, at least for what I'm doing. Uh, you just use the analog stick if you push it in a direction. When you touch a railing, you grind. Um, by holding it down and then pushing it forward, you um, uh, do like an ollie. And uh, th there are like point modifiers. You can spin with the trigger buttons, but uh, there's point modifiers like if you grind closer to the point at which you actually make impact with the railing, you get more points. You can do tricks when you ollie to get a higher multiplier and stuff like that. Um, but mainly the way that you're going to get a lot of points once you figure out the, the pattern for actually, you know, getting your combo up a little bit is uh, by nailing perfect landings. You, you get a modifier to your points for each landing. And uh, if you land sloppily, you get less points. If you land perfectly, you get the most points that you can possibly get. So let's go back here. Um, we'll skip this, and I'll show you the actual game itself so you can get a feel for the structure. Because it's not endless. It might appear that it's endless, but it is not endless. It's actually divided uh, up into individual levels. As you can see, there's... I think there's 25 levels. Yeah, 25 levels on the amateur side, and then another 25 on the pro side. Uh, which, as you, might, as you might expect, are just a little bit more difficult. I don't know why uh, my score hasn't been saved. Oh, a good start! Also, if you fall, you just lose, and then you restart. Um, there is a daily... You gotta give me a second here. Why am I messing this up so badly now? There is a daily challenge mode uh, in the game as well, which we'll try to do at the end of this video, and it was in the PS Vita version as well, but I was always, you know, flying when I was playing it, so I never actually got a chance to upload my score to the leaderboard. Your current rank... Number 23, that's not too bad. Let's see if we can get a little bit higher than that. I did play this on the Vita, so I probably have a little bit of an advantage over uh, some of the people who are now playing it for the first time. Oh, I didn't land it properly, but I still got a little bit of a higher score. 21st, I think I can probably have stand a chance of getting to the top 10. So I think a lot of people are going to be curious uh, about Ollie Ollie, and they're going to say, hey, is it worth it? I think the answer to that... Oh, that was really good. I think the answer to that question is yes. I think number 11th, I can live with it. Let's check our leaderboard quickly. Is there anyone that I know that's ahead of me? Red Panda Gamer. Well, you know what? I'm going to let him have that one. That's a pretty good score. Uh, I'll, I'll, you know, allow uh, him to get victory on that one. That's okay. Let's move over to this one. Um, yes, I think it's worth it for sure. But you've got to ask yourself some questions because, you know, 13 bucks, it is kind of a, a premium price point. I think it was 10 or 15 on Vita, so it's, it's within the same range. Um, ooh. Eh, pretty good score again. You, see, it's hard to talk about the game while you're playing the game because uh, it's easy to get distracted here. Um, how do we skip track? Right? No, we might have to go back to level select every time. Anyway. Um, yeah, you know, 13 bucks is something that you do have to ask yourself, or a lot of people will, will choose to ask themselves, you know, is this worth it? I think it is, but you have to ask yourself some questions. Are you the kind of person that is okay with, like, repeating the same level dozens and dozens of times to try to min-max it as best as is humanly possible? Well, if you are... 
this is the kind of game for you. This is not necessarily just like a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater in 2D type thing at all, you know? You're you're not really doing like freestyle or anything like that. You're much more just like attached to courses. Am I on spots? Is that why this is doing what it's doing? I'm not sure because nor- oh, there we go. I was on spots. Now I'm in the career mode. Okay, so we'll just move over to this level now. Uh, in the career mode, you have objectives here like collect all the spray cans and stuff like that. Oh, that was a pretty bad way to fall. Um, yeah, so I think if you're the kind of person who's not into stuff like that, then, um, you know, waiting for a sale is maybe the right course of action. But if you're the kind of person that does get, like, really into the competitive spirit, I think you could definitely get $13 worth of value out of this easily. It's probably my favorite PS Vita game of the year. I will say that, and this is no fault of the, the PC port, really, but I think it's a game that, structurally, that was so bad, I really want to restart the level. Structurally, I think the game works a little bit better on the Vita as opposed to on the uh, the PC. Not just because of like controller support or anything like that. The 360 controls work fine. Uh, maybe even better than the Vita version just because the pad is a little bit bigger. But, you know, your, your preferences might vary there. Um, but it seems a little bit more well suited to playing on the go. Bad death on my part. Um, but yeah, it, it seems like the kind of thing like for stuff like, you know, PC gaming. I have a tendency at least to kind of want more substantive experiences or substantial experiences if that makes sense you know EU4 stuff like that high high depth strategy stuff um, Ollie Ollie I think works a little bit better on a mobile platform not necessarily because it's it's a worse game but it is a little bit more simplistic and it's it's more fast paced so if you have the option of, of which version to get then um, I, I do think the Vita version is probably the one that I would recommend the most but I do have some bias there as I've pretty much only played the Vita version. Well, I mean, probably 90% of my playtime or more is with the Vita version at least. Where are we on Urban 4? 12th? I could live with it. Of course, Red Panic Gamer went through and tried to beat all my scores. And he did a good job, I'll admit. Let's see if we can get ahead of him, though. So yeah, I mean, it's it's weird to, to make this on Ollie Ollie because you know, in a way, I don't really feel like I should be doing a let's look at it because my impressions of the game are mostly... i got to restart that, obviously. Mostly from, like... I don't know, six months ago at this point. Uh, the PC version is a totally fine port from what I've played so far. If anything, it might actually be a better... I didn't know you could grind down the staircase, actually. Um, probably a bad idea, because the landing is borderline impossible, apparently. Um, I'm really disappointed in myself. You can just hit the back button, but I'm so used to going to the pause menu now. If anything, what I was trying to say is that the uh, PC port might feel a little bit better. I got a lot of crashes on the Vita version of the game. Um, and even though I mentioned that it would maybe be preferable to play it on the... Uh, Vita because of the structure of the game it, it seems like technically maybe a little bit more competent on the PC version if that was something that bugged you Specifically about the Vita version, but anyway um, Yeah, it, it, it's good. It's still good. It was good when it came out it's, it's definitely one of the best Vita games of the year and it's one of the only original Vita games that you know You didn't have a chance to pick up on PC most of the time, well, what, at least from my personal taste, let's put it that way. Uh, most of the, the stuff that I play on Vita is a port from the PC in the first place, so to have something going in the opposite direction feels kind of fresh to me. Does that mean it's worth $13 for everybody? Oh, I've got to try to get a higher score than that. Uh, no, but uh, I think if you know the kind of person you are and if you're into the competitive spirit uh, of this, then you'll have... Uh, You'll have a good time. Visually, game looks good. Um, it actually, like, I didn't really appreciate it visually on the Vita that much uh, until I played it on the PC, blown up a little bit, and it looks nice. Uh, it, it does. And the music is fantastic. Like, that's, uh, the from an audiovisual standpoint, that's the biggest standout, I'd say, is the soundtrack is awesome. Uh, and the level design is good, too. It's really devilish. You might be saying, oh, like, this looks pretty easy right now. Later on, levels become not only difficult to get high scores on, but just difficult to survive in general. I'm not really super pleased with my performance here. That's okay. You want to get the perfect grinds as much as possible. There we go. That's a little bit better. It's a new high score. What's my position on the leaderboards there? 29th. Not that pleased with that. Let's move on to a little bit of a more difficult level. So let's move on to uh, port. And hopefully by port you'll start to understand uh, the... Uh, more difficult objectives and there's kind of like not really branching paths but there's alternate paths that you can take through the course um you know you can take either the higher path or the lower path and you can choose to you know skate a little bit more or you can choose to predominantly grind which is obviously better from a score situation but may require landing some difficult jumps it's actually like a, i oh that was super bad um i tried to explain this earlier but it, it's really not so much a, like a pure skateboarding game or anything as it is like a platformer or even a like a rhythmic puzzle game or something like that, disguised as a skateboarding type game. Uh, which is cool. It, it, it's a conceit that works really well. And truth be told, I've played just about enough of, like, 
Tony Hawk's Pro Skater in its various forms to pretty much never have to feel like I'm missing out on stuff like that ever again. As much as I, you know, love those games at various points throughout my life. Oh, this is not good. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I think I'm over it. Is that my... That is my best score. That's not so bad. 18th. Don't even tell me. I don't want to know. I don't want to... Okay, good. Red Panda Gamer's not ahead of me. Next level, then. So, yeah, I mean, this is Ollie Ollie. Uh, we'll, we'll finish up with the daily grind. It's I've never done the daily grind in Ollie Ollie. It kind of intimidates me, and I think you can understand why. Because if you fall down once, it's over. And it's a, a procedurally generated level, I believe. I don't think it's actually, like, hand-created. Might be mistaken, though. So we're trying to get all of the uh, optional pickups here, of course. Because that gives us even more points, which is important. Oh, we didn't land it perfectly. If we landed it perfectly, that would probably be a really good score. Instead, 18th. I can live with it. Uh, let's try the daily grind, and we'll see how well we can do. I'm surprised that my scores have held up so well since the Northern Line Live Super Show. All right, we got three hours. Compete with the world on a different spot every day. Highest score each day wins. Practice as many times as you like, but you only get one chance to set a score. Don't choke. Okay. How do you practice? Practice is just this. Okay. So maybe it's... It, it says difference. <laughs> that was just practice, thankfully. It says a different spot every day, so I guess it's not... Um, like a procedurally generated level. It, it's a level that's... Or a, a section of the game taken from the actual other levels. Which is fine as well. You know, it's really just the, the one-time only competitive aspect of it that is the main draw, I think. Alright. Look, I'm not gonna have the patience to practice this 20,000 times. So we'll just do the best that we can. And it looks like it's a, you know, super good area for combos. You want to land the uh, perfect grinds as much as possible. Because that's how you keep your speed up. That's a pretty fucking good score. What's the leaderboard like here? Where would that put me? That would have put me in like third or fourth or fourth or fifth place. Alright, I gotta try. Let's, let's play it for real. You only get one shot. Do not miss a chance to blow. Here we, okay, not a perfect grind. Recoup. It's okay. Don't talk to me right now. I know. Should I buy Ollie Ollie? I don't have time to talk about that right now. What do you mean that's my job description? No. I gotta get the highest score. Good. Got some speed back. You might have to finish the level. If you fall, I don't think you get any points. I don't want to be in last. Heart's racing a little bit. Good. Good. Perfect grinds. Yes! Even better score. Okay. So that'll put me in, like, fourth for the daily challenge today. That's pretty solid. I have no idea how this person got 1.4 million points, but that's nuts. So, I mean, you know, compared to Spelunky, the daily challenge is over in, like, a minute. But it is still, like, really, really, uh, heartthrobbing from the one time that I've done it. Uh, oh, man. Sorry. Real sorry to all you guys down here. There can't be only 75 people that have tried this today. That's nuts. So hopefully you can hear some of that great music right now. Um, we can try some of the pro levels, can't we? Oh, I'm in spots again. There we go. Yeah, let's try some of the pro levels. I think they just have harder objectives, basically. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm not on the fence about Ollie Ollie. I hope that's come across here. I think Ollie Ollie is a great game. I'm glad it's coming out on a wider platform. I still think Vita is kind of the more appropriate platform for it, but I know tons of people out there, more people than do own a Vita, don't own a Vita for sure. So if you missed out on this, and that's probably, you know, speaking to a lot of you right now, Consider checking it out with the caveats that, yes, you know, I, I've been following a little bit of the conversation about the game on Twitter. It's expensive-ish for an indie game, and especially an indie game that is a little bit more mechanically simple, I guess, than um, than uh, some other stuff that comes out. You know, you're not going to get necessarily 400 hours of gameplay, or even 100 hours of gameplay, or even 20 hours of gameplay maybe out of Ali Ali. Although, although I think 20 hours of gameplay is uh, perhaps realistic for some people that are really into it. Um, but that being said, I, I still think it's worth it, and uh, if you're the kind of person that's really into this competitive style gameplay, uh, I think you'll you'll have a good time with it. Like, if, if you're B-Rex, I think you could have a really good time playing Ali Ali. It's Bananasaurus Rex, I guess, for people who are not in on the on the know-how, in on the community. Um, but yeah, I like it. I'm glad it's finally uh, out on PC, and I'll probably be playing a little bit more of it. If nothing else, it fits uh, nicely into like the... Oh! No! I gotta try that again. Uh, it fits nicely into kind of like the portfolio of games with a daily challenge. So if we wanted to do like a, an NLSS section where we did daily challenges in like Spelunky, Isaac, and uh, Ollie Ollie, and Coin Crypt all on the same day, and Nuclear Throne, like the, the daily challenge is definitely like one of my favorite quote-unquote gimmicks that's 
that's happened to gaming recently because it's really it, it's it's like when I was a kid I always wanted to be in those gaming tournaments that they had in like the wizard and stuff like that right or, or Nintendo power would issue a challenge it's like get this uh, get a faster time than this in wave race 64 and I was always like maybe one day I'll be recognized by some kind of video game talent scout and pulled out of this godforsaken small town and get to live in the big city and you know play Donkey Kong with Billy Mitchell every day um, this is the closest I will ever come to that, especially because now I'm older and realize that I'm awful at video games for the most part. You've really got to do a perfect grind there, I think, to feel too confident about your chances. Maybe we can still get a decent score on this level. So, as you can see, I mean, the pro levels are substantially harder than their uh, non-pro counterparts. Eh, that's pretty good. Pretty good, 79,000. Complete all the challenges on pro levels to unlock rad mode. I'll admit, I have no idea what that is. I will also admit that um, my controller support seems to have stopped working. That's a terrible way to end a video, but it is the appropriate time anyway. Uh, as always, I hope you enjoyed watching me uh, play a little bit of Ollie Ollie. I really like this game in spite of the fact that it... Oh, it didn't crash. Okay, just took a second to work the turkey through. Um, if you want to pick it up on Steam... Feel free to do so. There is a link in the video description below uh, where you can go to the store page. It's actually $11.69 for its opening week sale, which is like 10% off, and then it's going to be uh, $13 after that. I think it's worth it. I can understand uh, a lot of people saying, hey, that's maybe a little bit expensive for a game that I'm not going to get that much play out of. You sure? I can understand that, and uh, my advice for you is, you know, just keep it in your in the back of your mind that this would be a really great pickup spontaneously for, like, half price in a uh, Steam sale a little ways down the road. I think you'll definitely, uh, it, it's a much more attractive price, I mean, what isn't a much more attractive purchase at a half the price point, but certainly I think at, like, five bucks or four bucks you see, uh, probably a lot more people saying, hey, if I'm only going to get three or four hours out of that, that's more well worth it at that price point, I guess. But in any case, um, I like it. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. It helps me out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.